Aloha, everyone. Uh, Patrick Franti here. Sloan Allison is joining me with the Villa Group. Um, we uh, wanted to just push out a quick video on um, insurance claims. Um, we know right now that are those are a lot of questions we've been getting from clients, the public, et cetera. And so we've been reaching out to you know our insurance contacts, trying to just get a gist of what the key pieces of information people should know are. Obviously, we're not insurance professionals. Um, we can help direct you to insurance resources, but our goal, again, is just to try and highlight a couple things to um, be aware of um, when dealing with your insurer. So um, jump right into it. Um, you know, anyone who has experienced a loss um, from this Lahaina fire tragedy, um, obviously first thing that you should do is to file a claim. And this is for, for property owners. We'll, uh, yeah. we'll touch on um, um, renters, renters um, after this, but uh, for property owners, so file an insurance claim with your insurer. They always suggest that you do that in writing. Um, send them an email. Obviously, usually uh, people make a phone call first, but um, but it, it should be in writing. Um, and from there, the claim will start processing. Um, it you know from what we've gathered, the coverage on the structure is pretty black and white. So you know you have your policy limit. That's the coverage amount for a disaster like what has been experienced here. Those disaster, you know, those policy limits should all be hit. Is what is expected, and that's your coverage for the structure. Where um, where it gets a little different is for the personal loss. Uh, you know what we're hearing from some of our insurance resources is that a lot of people don't thoroughly break down their personal belongings. They say this is one of the most important things you can do and something you need to spend a lot of time on, hours and hours and hours. Um, it's got to be on a spreadsheet, and this is where you list every single item that you lost, everything you owned. It's got to be cataloged um, thoroughly, right? Like from everything from tables, cutlery, plates, to sticky pads. every so, single little yeah, thing there's yeah. you know down to notepads post-it notes a box of paper clips yeah literally every single thing and i know this is hard obviously i mean in a, in a time like this um but they they are saying that is one of the most important things to do um and it's one of the most common things that people do not do thoroughly um you know, they, they list kind of the major things and forget about a lot of the other things. Um, there's a lot going on and it's just hard to think about all that. Um, so take your time. Uh, they say a spreadsheet format is best and list everything you can. Um, from there, um, you, you, you kind of have to establish a value for each of those things. Um, and for smaller items, it's whatever kind of a general person would assume around what that costs for larger items. Um, you can look um, for like online appraisal tools or um, you know other resources, if it was recently bought, obviously what you paid, um, stuff like that to figure out general values for every single one of these. Things. Um, that will ensure that um, you can hopefully uh, get, you know, get the most coverage and get, get, get the most coverage from your insurer or the most re highest reimbursement. Um, uh, the third point we really want to touch on, um, is finding a replacement property. Sloan, you want to, you want to touch on that one quick? That's, that seems to be a big one. Yeah. So, so the main thing that, that your insurance, you know, companies, they want you to do that is they kind of want to control where you go, but that's not, you know, necessarily, um, you know, th that's not your only option. You, you, you do actually have control on where you can go. And so our recommendation, you know, based on who we've spoken with is to, um, you know, find your own housing. And then to our understanding, the insurance companies will reimburse you for your rent. I mean, that's, is, is that kind of the gist that you got too, Pat? Yeah. 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 So it seems like the big kind of catch is, 
once you file your claim, um, your insurance company may tell you, oh, we found a place for you. We have yeah. housing at a hotel close by. If you're a family of four or fam even a family of three, whatever it is, right, a hotel hotel room can be maybe, you know, not, not the most optimal solution. Um, so if you are able to find something else, you can self-direct that. You don't have to go with their suggestion and you can... Um, find your own place that may be better suited, a two bedroom, three bedroom, whatever it might be for the short term um, or even the long term and 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 go with that and then they will reimburse that. Um, so yeah, that that seems to be a big one. Definitely make sure that you can find a place that will work for you and your family. Um, that's kind of it. We the, you know obviously Rangers. not insurance professionals, but those seem to be kind of the hot topics right now. If you have questions or need more information, um, we'll post a link to a couple of our resources that are in the insurance field, and they can help you further. Aloha. Aloha, guys.